Hi, I'm Elder Jimmy Tan of Podesta Franklin Estate Church. Have you ever listed down the reasons why you love Singapore? Now, as interesting as that is, the more important question is how do I show my love for Singapore? I want to suggest three ways. First, be thankful for how far He has brought us. Acts 17 26 tells us from one man God made all the nations and He marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. Singapore's success is not merely wrought by any confluence of geography or politics, rather it's by the sovereign appointment of God. It is also not by chance that the Singapore Church has been entrusted to steward the calling as the Antioch of Asia. So let's first of all be thankful to God. The second way to love Singapore is to be prayerful for all our leaders. It's tempting to point fingers at politicians or to fold our arms in despair. But if you look at 1 Timothy 2, God wants us to pray for all those in authority, regardless whether or not we agree or disagree with them. Now, why is this so important? The answer is in those same verses that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. To me, those are code words meaning that we may live unhindered in our witness and untainted in our integrity. And don't be all one there. The third way to love Singapore too is directed inwards. Let's be faithful to our true north. We all love the song home, but as sojourners on earth, our true home, the one that awaits us, must always order our lives here and now. As Roger Ratnam, one of our nation's founding fathers, said in 1990, being a Singaporean is not a matter of ancestry, it is conviction and choice. Borrowing from this, for the compass needle of the hearts of all Christians in Singapore to be faithful to our true norm, our choice must be to stay focused on trusting Christ, not on mere men. Our conviction to live each day by faith, blessing others in Singapore in love, always propelled by gospel hope. So let's be thankful how far He's brought us. Let's be prayerful for all our leaders. Let's be faithful to our true north, our Lord Jesus Christ. Have a good and happy National Day.